In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about the best and the only method to try and get back your lost or stolen Android phone. I'm going to speak to you about only the facts. I'm going to show you realistic methods to do this. So I want you to watch my video completely till the end. When you lose your phone, obviously it's a big deal because we have a lot of photos and videos and important documents and data and stuff like that. It is very important to go ahead and secure your phone. So what we do is we go online and then we try to check for uh, maybe services or websites or applications that could help us to track our lost or stolen Android phones. So we come across some websites and we try and track it there. It doesn't work. Okay, the next thing we do is we try to look for services that could help us get back our phone. Now, when we try to look for services, there are legal and illegal methods. You go to the police station and you, you know, get onto CEIR in my location and we file in a complaint out here also. The illegal methods are pretty bogus and uh, scammy. You may just come across comments like these. Okay, so I had made a video in the past showing you how to track a lost or stolen phone even if it is switched off. So Android does give us an option to uh, do offline tracking. So I made the video, okay. But I also got these uh, spam comments which I'm deleting slowly, slowly. It's very difficult for me to delete, you know, uh, comments of like say five or six hundred videos one shot but i'm doing it slowly slowly so you may just come across these type of comments and uh you know people are saying that hey mr this help me to find my phone mr that help me to find a phone this hacker help me to find my phone this is all lies this is all a scam all these guys that are offering you these services are going to ask you to transfer their money or bitcoins or whatever and you're not going to get any kind of a service don't do that this is wrong Okay, and I'm going to report all these comments to YouTube so that these accounts are actually blocked. All right. Now, having said that, what is the best and the legal procedure to actually find your phone? The first thing is obviously you file a missing complaint. That is something you need to do. Right. But what after that? Because, you know, the cops are pretty busy with other cases which are more serious. Okay. So what we can do is get onto Google and uh, we could do a search by ourselves. We could give it a try. Google.com, just search for Find Hub and uh, click on the first link. Find Hub is an updated version of Find My Device by Google. Okay. If it's your daughter or your mother or your son or wh whoever is like, you know, sending you their location link, you could actually click on that link and you could keep an eye on them so that they're actually safe wherever they are. So if you want to track your lost or stolen phone, just click on devices and then uh, you just select the phone that you're wanting to track. And then you just select the phone that you're wanting to track. And within a few seconds or a couple of minutes, you're going to see the location for your phone out here to the right. Now, if it is not showing anything, it means your phone is offline. So in order for your phone to respond to this application, in most cases, it has to be online. Sometimes what happens is that uh, somehow the application captures the last location of your phone, even if your phone is offline and it shows you out here. I don't know how that happens, but sometimes it does happen. Okay, it may just be like, uh, you know, a location capture that uh, the application had taken when your phone was last online and it shows you the last location. All right. So if you see the location out here on maps, you could just, uh, you know, double click on that and you could get the coordinates So you could get the location address and all those things and try and get to the place to get your phone back. If your phone is not there, obviously somebody has robbed it. So if somebody has stolen your phone, then you could just go ahead and secure your device out here. So when you click on secure device, you get a pop up like this. Just click on secure device, set this up, even if your device is offline, because when your device comes online, it is going to get blocked with a password that you know, maybe a pattern or a code or a fingerprint, whatever lock you set up on your phone. But if you think that, no, I'm not going to you know, get back my phone anymore. You're very concerned about uh, the data that is on your account through your phone. Click on factory reset device. You get a pop up like this. You click on next, set this up so that when your device comes online, all the data which is on your phone gets erased. And apart from this, you could also work with the police to see if these guys are actually working towards uh, getting your phone back. Few of my friends that have gotten scammed by people like these. Okay, so 
lose your phone you get onto youtube obviously it's the best platform that gives you the best advice i get that but you have to be careful about these scammers so a few of my friends they actually fell for these scams and they landed up paying money for you know tracking services and they lost their money i hope this helps and i hope you got some value if you did give my video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell notification icon take care my friend Thank <music> you.